This video is part of the how to embed a YouTube player on your Facebook page lesson and I'm going to show you how to create a custom player for your YouTube channel on your to put in on your website or on Facebook. So we're going to call this the Social Coaching Center. And we're going to put in a quick little description. We're going to style it, and I'm feeling kind of orange today, so I'm going to make it orange, but you can choose any of these colors. And now you can decide if you want to use a single layout option that you're just going to see one video at a time, but then later it'll pop up that little window that, that has links to the other ones. Or you can do a multiplayer, and this will show the other channels in your player as it comes up, and it'll automatically refresh those, which is kind of cool. Um, we're going to tell it what kind of content we want. You could make this a playlist. Uh, you could make it favorites. I'm going to make it my own videos. And I'm going to click select to select that. And it's going to come and enter my most recent video here and click generate code. That's really all there is to creating the player. I'll go on in a minute here to show you how to embed that in Facebook. Okay, so now we have our embed code, and if the, we were going to put this in a regular HTML page, we would just copy and paste this into the HTML or a WordPress page and call it done, and it would play. But because we're going to be embedding it into Facebook, we have to use Facebook markup language. They also won't allow you to launch a flash file directly from the page. You have to call it with an image. And this sounds really complicated, but I'm going to walk you through step by step. Not a big deal. So here's our embed code. We know that we ha need an image that's going to be 746 wide by 413 high. And so what I did was took this code out, pasted it into an HTML page, and then viewed it in the source. And Here's what it looks like on the HTML page. So this is what our player is going to look like. Now you can do one of several things. You can take a screenshot of this and then upload it to your server and make that the absolute length that you're going to use for the image. What I like to do is use an application called Skitch. And what Skitch does is take little screenshots. And Skitch is a very cool application. I'll give you a tutorial on that another time, but I'll show you how it works really quickly right now. So I just take, I open up Sketch, and it gives me this nifty little crosshair, and I highlight the image, and I'm going to try to select all of it, and then it's going to open up a window for me like this. And now if I want to resize it, I'm going to resize it, and I click Web Post, it's going to upload it to the internet to sketch.com and here's my little image and if we look it'll show me that I can get just the link to the image by clicking copy and it copied it to the clipboard and I'll show you what we're going to do that with that in just a second so now I'm going to show you what to do with the code that you got we got this object embed code and this is the code for our video but Facebook doesn't just let you embed that code you have to have specific FBML code and so that's what this looks like and I'll put this on the social media coaching center website what we're gonna do first is we're going to replace the image URL with the image that is that we took on sketch this can be any URL but it needs to be hosted somewhere it can't be on your hard drive so it needs to be hosted on your website or your blog or a service like sketch I'm just gonna paste the URL here and you wanna check and make sure that the size is correct you see that on sketch uh, it will give you that information um, but if you don't know what it is you're gonna have to find out what the image size is or you can get some distortion and now we're going to take the parameter for our video and here's the URL for that and this is the URL for the video on YouTube and we're going to replace that with the Swift source URL text right here 
And again, make sure that you don't get the double quotes. You only want to have single quotes. And now all we have to do is paste this on our Facebook page in the FBML box that we built. So now we go into our Facebook page. This is the one for my book, Social Media Success. And if we want to create some FBML and we already have an application, we can just click Edit. And you can have up to 10 FBML apps on one page. We're going to add another FBML box. And we've added it now. You get up this little box that says to configure, click Edit. This is where you edit it. We're going to click Edit. And we're going to go look at this box. I'm going to call it SMCC Videos. And now we just paste this code right here. That's it. We've created the box for a video. I'm going to click Save Changes. And now we have a box that's ready to place anywhere on our Facebook page that has this uh, custom video player.